Okay, everybody, I think I've gotten a good hold of um, everything I need here. I've done a crazy ton of research, and um, after watching T. Tudor Lanton's videos of everything that he's done comprised of the Ashbringer, I decided to complete his search as much as possible and put it all into one video. So here's WoW Stories, the Ashbringer, putting the pieces together. For T. Tudor Lanton's sake, I had to solve it. So what you want to do is, um, to get your main bit of easter eggs, like in most games, you'll find it in the place that you'd find more lore than any other place. So I went to Old Hillsbrad in the Caverns of Time. And in here, this is where we basically can put all our pieces together. Of um, Well, first off, we notice here, right off the bat, the main lore figure, um, Kalthuzad, who, if you remember, um... Kel'Thuzad is also the lead boss in uh, Nax Ramus, who is where the Four Horsemen are, which drops the Ashbringer until they took it out of the game. Here's a picture of him in uh, Nax Ramus, Kel'Thuzad, taken control of by the Lich King. And, uh, yeah, you got a good picture of him. And here's Helcular, that one guy. I'll, I'll go back to him later. There's that um, goblin who walks around South Shore later on. Here is, um,. Nat Pagel, one of the biggest um, lore characters, because he's the one who supposedly fished up the Ashbringer. Um, he just sits here in Old Hills Brand and he tells stories to um, Halister or whatever. And uh, Nat Pagel, you can get a note from him, and I'll go into detail for that as well later on. Okay, so what we do now is we um, continue into Old Hills Brand, and inside. There's a meeting going on, and I'll, I'll, I'll hope to help you guys recognize some familiar faces. First off is um, Scarlet Commander Mograine here. Um, I mean, here's uh, Commander Mograine. There's Fairbanks. Um, and Mograine, you might remember, recognized as the Ashbringer in uh, Nax Ramus. Um, he's one of the four horsemen there. Uh, and here is he's sometimes replaced by Baron Rivendare. There's Tyrion Fordring, and yeah, he's in Eastern Plague Lands. Um, you'll recognize these people when I patch them all together um, at the end here. It's Arcanus Doan. Um, really, there's just a meeting. They're explaining that the Ashbringer he found um, being held by some scourge. I mean, he's, if you found this crystal, it's got f of pure demonic energy. Um, well, he's explaining that the Scourge is, uh, or they're losing Northrend, there's some trouble going on, um, there's a Cillian, I'll get back to him in a little, I'll get back to him later, and a Bendis, you'll f discover them later and stuff, and Northrend. Alright, here he brings out his chest, and inside this chest, here's the crystal of, a uh, like, dark matter of, uh, it's like suffering and stuff, I don't really understand completely, but, uh, it's bad stuff. So while they're talking, I said to take my helmet off. So you can see what my guy looks like as a human and not a blood elf, as he normally is. Alright, now they're explaining the crystal and that it uh, burned his hand and whatnot when he tried to touch it. Yada yada yada, lore crap, lore crap. I mean, like, it's, it's lore is like one of my favorite things about this game. But right now they're just talking, now they're just role playing at this point. It gets kind of aggravating. Okay, so at one point, someone here tries to heal it. Um, I think that's coming up in a second or two. Um, I think I just walked around for a little bit. Looked at Mograine, I don't know, South Shore. This is all for Teacher Don Lanton because he always uh, was interested in that uh, Ashbringer stuff, and that's what got me interested in the game more than usual. See, okay, now he tries to heal this, and notice that it absorbs the energy, it absorbs the light, that's what Mograine's about to say, watch here. Um, it absorbed the light, yeah, basically. I don't know why I have my bag open, but it's kind of bugging me now that I'm looking back at this. It's Tyrion Fordring, and he's trying to heal it, and now he's about, now they're all trying to kind of heal it. Um, da -da -da -da. close my bag, Jesus Christ. Okay, um, they're all healing it, and the crystal, nothing is changing, but they said it's changing color, so they keep healing it, da 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 da. 
Okay, and I keep looking at that guy, he's not really doing anything. And I think the crystal is about to be changed. Boom, they keep casting spells. And now, look, see? They turn into a pure crystal. And he goes, oh my god, it's become a crystal of light and holiness and blah blah blah. And what Mogreen does is he actually tries to grab the crystal. Um, and what he's doing right now is he's grabbing the crystal and it, like, heals his hand. They said his hand is healed. And he said from this, alright, and he said, like, we're gonna use this to, um, we're gonna use this, we're gonna forge a weapon from it and we'll kill the Scourge and leave only ashes. And everyone, uh, I'm gonna kill the Scourge and behind it, it will leave only ashes. And then right now he says, uh, well, the thing that kind of pieces this together, uh, the Ashbringer. There you go. That's it, and they all agree, the Ashbringer, and then they, and then they kind of stop talking there. And then I'm just kind of running out of the end, I guess, at this point. Alright, now here's something else that might be interesting to Mr. Darlanton. Um, in Tanneris here, there's this um, guy um, in the bottom of Tanneris, and when you go and talk to him, he says, Are you here to ask me about the Ashbringer? Shh, wait, no, wait. And then he goes, tells you to go. If you, he also, he gives you the quest to respect your profession, like goblin engineering and gnomish engineering. And uh, that's pretty much it for him. And then I noticed randomly when I was running on the water, helping somebody with the quest after I had done was done, I noticed this house in the middle of nowhere. My curiosity got the best of me, and I decided to go inspect it. So I threw on my camera, and I got here. Lo and behold, I noticed um. Uh, Nancy Vicious and uh, Grandpa Vicious, and if you know anything about it, um, Vicious is the name of High Interrogator Vicious from Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. Um, so I guess I just killed them after. All right. Okay, so this is the um, book you loot off Nat Pagel. It says, and that's where you find the legendary sword of the Scarlet uh, High Lord, the Ashbringer. And you get it in any um, Alterac Valley battleground off a of Potion Faction dead body. It has a chance of dropping when you remove their insignia, which is pretty cool, I thought. There's Kel'Thuzad, um, as in Old Hillsbrad, and here he is as the last boss in Nax Ramus. Um, here is Helcular, who walks next to Kel'Thuzad, and here he is in a quest later on in uh, South Shore, who he'll fight you. Here's Herod the Bully, um, and later on, he in uh, Scarlet Monastery Armory, he's, he's uh, Herod as the last boss. There's Sally Whitemane, and this one's cool. She's actually the, um, the White Mane Inter uh, Inquisitor White Mane, or whatever, at the end. That's um, Raynor M Mograin, who was actually Commander Mograin at the end of Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. Um, this here's little Jimmy Vicious, who happens to be Interrogator Vicious, which is the first boss in Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. Um, here's Nathan O'Maris, who's in the inn, and he's also um, in Terran Mill as an undead forsaken. Here is Relay the True, who ends up being Relay the Devout in... Um, and Eastern Plague Lands. Here is Stalvin Mismantle, and there's a long chain quest in Darkshire where you have to end up killing Stalvin Mismantle here. And then there is Nat Pagel, who drops uh, the Nat Pagel Guide to Extreme Angling, which is right there again. And here is Commander Mograine, once more, who ends up being uh, Mograine, the guy in. Scar and uh, Max Ramus of the Four Horsemen. There is Tyrion Fordring, who uh, ends up being in Eastern Plague Lands. Tyrion Fordring again, he's just a lone paladin. Here's Talon, um, kid, who ends up being uh, High Lord Talon Fordring of the Scarlet Crusade. That's um, High Inquisitor Fairbanks, and he is also the a uh, guy hidden in Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. Scarlet Monastery is that guy in the back. There's uh, Arcanist Doan, who is um, the last boss of Scarlet Monastery Library. Um, that's Abendis. She's at the end. 
And in North Rand, you have to fight her in Dragon Bite as High General of Bendis. She's an elite. Um, there's Young Blanche, and that's Old Blanche and Westfall on a quest. All right, guys. So you realize this is actually a a lot of lore and a lot of research I put into it. So please um, rate, comment, subscribe. T2 if you actually end up watching this video. Um, I did all this re research for you and your questions that you had about Ashbringer because I figured this might put some a little bit together so you can maybe work it out. So remember guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and um, keep making the videos. Thanks for watching.